cool. This video was supposed to be fixing my dirt bike. Kick up the shoes, just spray the seat I do a bad thought of you and me. Wish that was a good one. Okay. We are waiting on a part still. So, instead we're gonna make another lure. I figured, hey, I haven't done that in a while, and I have a pretty awesome idea for one. Keep the rope short, I can hide the breeze. So I want to make a through-line hard body spinnerbait. Now I know a lot of you are like, What the heck did you just say? What even is that? And I will do my best to try to explain that. If you still don't understand it after, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, just, just skip to the end or watch all the way through and you'll kind of see. But a through-line spinnerbait. Hard body. So through-line and hard body. That just means instead of having all the little screw eyes, there's one piece of line that you bend and it'll it'll kind of make those hook hangers and line ties and spinner bait you're just gonna add a spinner to it now I actually have the body it's all sanded out and everything it's really small um, and that's how it's supposed to be and you're probably also thinking dude what the heck oh, you, you just like skipped through all that you sanded the body you got it out and everything yeah I'm not gonna film a lot of it but I'm probably gonna film the rest of it from here on out just because you know I don't I want this video to be more fishing with it because I haven't been fishing in a while and I've been catching and seeing some really nice bass recently. So I want to fish with this and I want this video to have me catching a fish with this. So I'm not going to film a whole lot of the lure making, but this is definitely a lure making video. The next step from here is to create the slot in the bait where we want the where we want the line to go. So we're going to be putting our wire through the top of this bait. So we're going to be cutting a line right through the top. And here is what she's looking like so far. You can see why we were cutting that slot now. So we can slide the wire into here. We're going to have one treble hook hanging off the back. It's just going to be a size 10 because, you know, the whole thing is small, so we're going to want a small hook as well. And I'm going to slide some beads on here and then a little spinner, and then I'm going to uh, circle this off like the same way I did to our wire here, and that will be our line tie. Alright you guys, it is the next day, and here is how she's looking, it's awesome, I'll give you guys a bunch of close-ups while I'm talking here in a second, but I want to add a feather treble, and I was looking through a bunch of art stuff, and I wanted to use like red feathers, but we didn't have any, and then I thought since I have these cool stripes on there, that I could use these turkey feathers. So I'm going to make a feather treble made out of real turkey feathers here in a second. And here she is. As you can see, I've got the, the treble on. I put eyes on and I mixed in some glitter with the epoxy or clear coat. So now, uh, you know, there's, there's a bunch of glitter on it and everything. It looks super cool. Uh, I've got the line tie done. And I mean, it, it is just, it is awesome. And as you can, as you can tell, I didn't paint the whole thing. I really liked the grain of the wood. It has some really awesome grain, so I left it. Um, but yeah, so it is so cool. And we're going to start making this feather treble. And bam, that's what she's looking like. It's pretty cool. The problem with the turkey feathers is that they're really brittle and they're not like fluffy or anything. So when you tie them with the string, they kind of just bunch together, but it's a cool pattern. It's like um, black, white, brown. So it kind of matches the rest of this. Uh, I wish I had red because, you know, the red flake, that would be, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't know, maybe I should have used like red string or something. Maybe I'll just like tie a little bit of red string around that real quick. But it is really rainy out today. So unfortunately we can't fish with this. I'm not sure when the weather's going to clear up, but... Hopefully we can fish with this sometime soon, and I'll pick the camera back up whenever we can. I was, it's the next day, and I got one on our lure. I wasn't even filming, I didn't have my, my chest strap on. Uh, I'm actually even filming this with my phone because I wasn't even expecting to catch anything. But holy crap, here we are with a decent sized pickerel, and 
our lure in its mouth. Oh my gosh, this is insane. I was, I was just like testing to see if the lure even worked and here we go with, oh my goodness, I, wow, wasn't even expecting this. Uh, I need two hands to get this guy unhooked, but I will pick the camera up when I'm doing a release. Okay, here we go. He, um, he's not doing so hot, but there he goes and swam off right away. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh man, we had another one on, boys. Oh, I set the hook a little early. Man, I really hope the camera got that. Oh, please come back. Please come back. Oh, yes, he went back and hit it again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's bigger. It's bigger. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's smaller. Oh, no, 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 no. He came off at the end. No. Oh man, that was crazy. He's sitting in this grass somewhere. Oh my gosh. He came back and hit it again, boys. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, please no. Please no. <sighs> well, I am sitting here on somebody's property um, with the lure that is no more. My dad is, he's, he's coming over in about an hour uh, with the canoe to try to like get it out. We have like this giant like tree cutter thingy um, and he's going to bring that uh, with the canoe. So, I mean, we're just in this little cove, so it won't be hard to reach, but you know, he's just going to. Meet me here and I'll just keep fishing. All right, well, we got it back out of, the, out of the tree, as you guys just saw, and I'm very, very happy that we did. So I'm going to be using this a lot. I think it was really cool. Um, it might need a little bit more weight, uh, just because it wasn't really sinking as much as I wanted, but it is nose heavy, which is nice, so I can just bring it up and down. So we are going to head home, and I'll pick up the camera for an outro once we are back there. All right, I am back home finally, and I am also back to filming on the camera camera, not my phone. Um, I, like I said, I was not expecting to catch anything with this little guy, but it was so fun, and I think that's one of the best lures that I've ever made. Um, one of the few lures that I've made that actually works. So, that was stinking awesome, and so was making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for all the love and support, so if you're not already, go subscribe down below. And if you liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And as always, I love you, you beautiful people. Adios.